everyone welcome back to anita's joint hashtag extended joint where every day is payday baby oh we tuned in to another video so this is becoming a legend to be a legend you must stand out from the crowd um like i said a lot of us of course the society has programmed us to continue to copy each other copy paste you see someone with the same shoe you see someone with some new shoes and you go out and try to get you know in a way the same brand <laughs> the same shoes you know what i'm saying <clears throat> but it's not even talking about materialistic things let's not talk about material things but that's how most of society has uh, programmed us to copy the materialistic things and becoming a legend really don't have to do with materials we're gonna gain that along the journey of being our legend becoming our legend but it's about your uniqueness it's about what makes you different from your further brothers or sisters you know what i'm saying uh that legend status is for those that in a way they challenge what the collective is thinking um that legend status is something that no one has ever seen done before and it's kind of scary you know what i'm saying because you're like damn how will people react and respond to you you know and at the end of the day being a legend you have to be comfortable being alone being outcasted being alienated because legends they stand above lots but don't you know what did they say what did that j cole song they that j cole song he's like you know it's not like two legends can't like collab something like that or something like that something like that i forgot but shout out to j cole you know the aquarius but yeah um and like i said to be a legend to become a legend you know what i'm saying you have to in a way the things that you'll do will be taboo because you're unique and therefore that certain angle that signature that you're putting out to the universe it is it hasn't been seen before and a lot of us especially in these times like if you're like younger than me like pluto sagittarius we are the we're legends and then of course a lot of a lot of other plutos you know what i'm saying they're legends too in their own unique way but now that it is our time pluto and sagittarius after pluto and scorpio you know destroying a lot of things and we're going to help burn it down us pluto sagittarius of course our creators innovators entrepreneurs aka you know we're going to be creating a lot of things that the world hasn't seen right and um you know being a legend that's going to require uh your uniqueness and uh you really got to be okay in uncomfortable situations you know i um I tell the children that I work with that I don't want to fit in. I want to stand out. And uh, if you want to stand with me, that's what's up. But I've already used to just standing out because, you know, I have a lot of Aquarius energy. Therefore, in a way, I'm already just an alien. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I have siblings. And, you know, you just know that you're different than most of your siblings because things don't. I would say come easy as as it did for others or things sometimes don't work the way you want them to, the way you want them to easily as others um you know i think becoming a legend and being less uh, being a legend it is at an early age like people already see like damn you know they're gonna be great they're gonna be one of a kind because we're all one of a kind stars right but it is at an early age and I'll just start, I'm trying, like I said, through me waking up in 2019, I'm still trying to accept, you know, me as myself as a legend, you know? I need a flying high was created. I, I, I gave myself a name. Uh, and, you know, I started to talk about things that I was into. Of course, my awakening was having me just express myself in general. Of course, everything about me has changed, my body, everything. My body to my hair to how I talk to how I think and you know being a legend that's what becoming a legend and being a legend that's what the process that's what the journey takes you through you know what I'm saying and of course gods and goddesses have to test us our heart if if in a way we are already worthy for the title but we have to accept it ourselves and I think that is something that right now my current such my current circumstances and surrounding is fighting my own fighting my own paradigm fighting the old version of myself and want to become the legend that i know i can and the legend i'm going to create right and the legend that was already written in the stars right 
because all of it is written right it's already it's already been written um but yeah becoming a legend can be very lonely because you know sometimes they said they don't they don't love you till you're gone you know what i'm saying but uh you gotta make sure you give yourself your flowers here no matter you know whatever anybody else is saying no matter how anybody else is looking at you you know i say at the end of the day the legends you know not all of them are like but people can't deny that they are great they're legends for a reason you know what i'm saying and people will remember you because you did something no one else did you d you said stuff no one has said you know what i'm saying and you weren't afraid to stand alone stand out from the crowd and um and that's something we all need to be able to embrace because we're all legends in a way in, in a way that's something we need to embrace and to accept into our realities because you know gods and goddesses they made us unique to shine and to show others that yes you're a legend but you can still create together with other legends with other great people and uh you know not to be able to share the stage you know you share the stage with the legends you want you want it you don't want to stand alone but uh, during that journey of becoming a legend you got to make sure the thoughts are yours you know your thoughts are yours your feelings are yours that you're creating as you're becoming the individual as you're becoming the legend that you want to be you don't want anyone trying to distort your vision distort your path and you know your greatness you know what i'm saying because they still be bringing down legends that are not even here they're not no they still be bringing down legends that are no longer here you know what i'm saying they, they talk about a lot of legends and they just try to rip their their whole legacy you know what I'm saying? Rip the whole legacy. Now, nowadays, like they got the cancel culture, or whatever. Nowadays, they ripping people's legacies while they're still living. So it's just like, damn. You know what I'm saying, damn, it's crazy out here nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But um, all in all, I'm saying, you know, becoming a legend and being a legend, you got to be able to have that that strength and that discernment. And the power and knowing and realizing and accepting and claiming that, um, you know, you're unique and that you're not made like every we are made like everyone. But your legend will be different from those. So we cannot be in a way comparing our legend status to others. We have to be able to cultivate our own way, our own path to our legendary. I would say a legendary title. You know what I mean? But um yeah and this applies for anybody in any circumstance you're a legend in your own way you know what i'm saying make sure you give yourself a name uh and remember we're just remembering our footprints in the sand putting down our footprints now for our next life and those that come and follow our footprints you know what i'm saying be like damn anita was a legend such and such was a legend you watching the video i'm a legend you know what i'm saying and you can always say affirmations like i'm a legend uh nino brown has a nino brown has a song called i'm a Li I'm living legend it's a really great song um if you want to check that out uh <clears throat> nino brown be having a lot of uh inspirational motivational and a lot of awesome music uh but yeah um it's your girl nita flying high flying out of this third dimensional reality and i'll see you on the next one this is